data teams are on the hook for delivering quality insights to the business, and for many organizations, that means getting data in the hands of more people and enabling them to take part in data transformation. In this demo, I'll show you how DBT Cloud's Canvas empowers cross-team collaboration and self-serve analytics, whether you're a seasoned developer who usually works in the IDE or an analyst who wants to transform data visually. Before we dive in, quick heads up, I'll be showing mockups of two powerful upcoming features, editing multiple models at once and adding sources and staging models directly from an upstream database. These are in active development and will land by GA. One feature that is coming soon is the ability to edit multiple models by using the tabs at the top of Canvas. You'll soon be able to open multiple transformations in parallel, compare them side by side, and even preview results at every step. For more technical users accustomed to working in an IDE, this multi-tab approach can feel familiar while also speeding up iterative development. Another exciting capability coming soon is staging new data sources directly from the upstream database. With just a few clicks, anyone can browse available schemas and tables, preview their columns, and seamlessly create staging models in bulk. This ensures your analytics always leverages the freshest, most accurate data. Let's move from Figma mockups to DBT Cloud. Say that I'm an analyst at a retailer trying to do some exploratory data analysis on priority orders from 2025. In Canvas, I can start with an existing model that's already in production, or I can create a new one using the data models and sources available in this project. So here I am in Canvas. I can start by naming this new model Priority Orders 2025. At the top of the page, I see all these different operator nodes that represent different transformation methods like joins, unions, aggregations, orders, filters, formulas, and more. Let's demonstrate how we discover existing data to build on. I know I want to find any existing sources or models related to orders. The search function makes it easy to discover what data is available. So here I found a staging model with order data and I can click into it to see what columns are available. So I see order and customer keys, dates, and priority codes. I also want to dig a little deeper into item level costs. Another quick search for price shows me a model named order items that has base price and extended price columns. This is perfect. So now that we have our models, let's join them. We'll use the inner join here to pull only the matching rows. When the join completes, I can see the final list of columns where I can then edit or remove any that I don't want in the final output. So now that this has been cleaned up a bit, let's add a formula node. I want to look at high priority orders from 2025. I can type the formula expression in the field and leverage autocomplete suggestions as I type, or I can use dbt copilot to generate the SQL for me. Canvas can actually flag errors uh, that I have in syntax, so I know just where to look when I'm fixing my code. The second formula expression here will actually extract the year from the order date. I can preview the data to make sure that these two columns have been created and then they're surfacing the data that I'm looking for. Next, I can use the filter node to surface orders based on defined conditions, in this case, priority orders that are marked true, and those that are from the order year 2025. Then I can use an order node to sort by extended price and descending order. Again, I can preview the results after each step. I love how easy it is to open multiple preview tabs and compare how the data changes from step to step, something that's not as straightforward in the IDE. Behind the scenes, the workflow in Canvas compiles into standard SQL. You can toggle between the visual flow and the generated code at any time, making it easy to review complex logic in a simple diagram or dive into the gory details before pushing to production. So we just walked through how easy it is to transform data in this drag and drop interface. If I decide that this transform data will be valuable to other teams in my organization, then I can actually go ahead and commit that change and Canvas will automatically create a feature branch for me via the same version controlled Git workflow used in the CLI or the IDE. I can run the workflow to make sure it is successful. Then I can open a pull request to kick off the code review process with my data team. Once approved and merged, the model's in production, ready to be consumed by anyone in the organization. With Canvas, any data practitioner can safely transform data in a governed way without needing to write complex SQL from scratch. And with dbt copilot, it's as simple as prompting in natural language. Here you'll see I'm writing a sentence basically saying what I want this workflow to look like, what models to look at, 
um, and what columns you might find helpful. And you'll see that in the results, it's actually a simplified version of the workflow that I just built. And here you see the same results, priority orders from 2025. Honestly, so amazing to see that happen in like less than 10 seconds. So stay tuned for more updates to this new development environment in DBT Cloud, where we're continually refining how teams collaborate to deliver high quality insights.